In an effort to keep your account more secure, two-factor authentication will be required to sign into your Apple developer account and certificates, identifiers, and profiles starting February 27, 2019. This extra layer of security for your Apple ID helps ensure that you're the only person who can access your account. New developer accounts have had to deal with this for months already, but now that it's hitting existing accounts, everyone has to deal with it. And lest you think this video is only for developers, if you have a significant other, child, parent, business partner, or anyone that would benefit from multiple people having 2FA codes, this can be for you as well. So let's break it all down. I'm Rene Ritchie, and this is Vector. Now this is all happening fast, whiplash fast. So fast, some people are wondering out loud if worldwide developer relations is having things locked down so quickly as a way to get ahead of the enterprise certificate abuses TechCrunch has been uncovering lately. So fast, a lot of developers are scrambling to get themselves set up in time because Connect wants unique IDs for every service. That means even if you don't have or work for a company, it's quite possible you may have an iTunes and App Store account, iCloud account, developer account, Apple Books account, Apple Podcasts account. And if you do work or contract for a company or several, maybe more than one of some of those. Hell, I do. And there's no way to manage or merge accounts. I'm guessing because the system is like web objects old, older, I don't know. But regardless, you're stuck with what you have and that creates a problem. By default, your iOS device or Mac is only gonna give you 2FA codes from your default account. Almost certainly your personal iCloud account. So how are you gonna get the 2FA codes for all the other accounts? It's complicated, honestly, it's a mess. And with the deadline looming, all we can do for now is deal with it. And this is how. Since Xcode lives on a Mac, if you develop for Apple products, you do it on a Mac. And that means you can set up a second user account on your Mac and log in with your developer ID or any other Apple ID you want. I'll link to step-by-step -step instructions in the description, but here are the highlights courtesy of Jonathan Tarud. Set up a user account on your Mac. Log into your iCloud account tied to the developer account under the new macOS user. Activate two-factor authentication and add your preferred phone number as backup. Verify you are able to log into your account via another device or via browser at appleid.apple.com. Log out of the iCloud account on the temp macOS user and switch back to your main macOS user. Delete the temp account and now you should be able to use 2FA via the phone validation every time. Now, I kind of hate this. Phone validation is SMS, and that's just not a safe way to transit authentication codes. So the second thing you can and should do is set up another iCloud account on your iPhone or iPad. Again, step-by-step -step in the description, but the highlights via Kyle Seth Gray. Go to passwords and accounts on your iOS device. Add account, add iCloud. Sign into your developer account. Turn off all of the switches. Bam. Go to App Store Connect or something like that. Try to sign in you should get two-factor codes on that device. So yeah, complicated, a mess. In a perfect world, Apple would have rolled out proper support for multiple 2FA in macOS and iOS before, you know, requiring 2FA on multiple accounts in macOS and iOS. But we don't live in a perfect world. We live in this one. And about the only good news is, this one has some super cool stuff in it, like vector pins, t-shirts, and stickers. They're in brilliant black, awesome orange, and bright white, and they look pretty damn amazing on jackets, on people, on MacBooks, and more. We may change them up soon, so if you want any of the classic run, head on over to standard.tv slash vector and get your order in, especially if you want to be sporting them for WWC 2019. More on that soon enough. So, developers, friends, file your radars and dupes, and hopefully Apple can figure out a better system that just works for everyone. Then hit like, hit subscribe, and hit up the comments below and tell me two things. What you think about how two-factor is being handled and what other how-tos or tips you'd like to see me cover on this channel. And thank you so much for watching.